In today's video, I want to share some of my day trades for the $1 million day trading challenge. I want to start with a trade from January because my buying power back then was way lower than it is right now. And I want to show you how consistency or why consistency is so crucial in this day trading challenge. I have to admit, it's also kind of painful to look at those trades because right now um, BNB is up at like 277 and back then I was trading it for $50. So if I would have held that coin, I would have made a lot more money. But I guess that's what my long term portfolio is for. So let's let's get started. So let's start with January 20th. As you can see, I traded the pair BNB and USDT, also called Tether, which is a stable coin. I initiated a limited buy order for the price of 41.5537 per coin. Since I used all of my money available, I was able to purchase 318.77 BNB. I also had to pay a fee of 0.2390775 BNB, which at that point was about $10, which brings my total investment in that trade to $13,236.0413 USDT. I immediately placed a limit sell order for the full amount of my BNB that I had left for the price of 42.1 per coin, which is a 1.3146% gain, which got filled about an hour later. But I also got charged a fee of $13.41, which brought my total to 13,410.113. This particular trade took an hour and 18 minutes from being in the market and being out of the market um, and generated $174, which in my opinion is not bad for me just play, buying and selling immediately. It took me five minutes and then I just had to wait for the price to hit. But let's move on to the next trade, February 5th. I placed an order to purchase BNB against my USDT for the price of 60.5, which got filled and I received 245.54 BNB. I also got charged a fee of 0.184155 BNB, which at that time was about $11, which brought my investment down to 14,855, Point 17. I immediately placed an order to sell my BNB at 61.5, which would be a 1.6528% gain if it got filled. After about an hour, it got filled, and after deducting the about $15 in fees, I had my investment back, which was worth $15,089.2. dollars This particular trade generated $234, which again, Pretty awesome. A couple hours later, I found another great opportunity and I jumped back in. I placed another limit buy to purchase BNB at 63.5, which got filled and I received 237.39 BNB. After a fee of 0.1780425 BNB, my investment was worth 15,074.26 USDT. Immediately after I purchased the coins, I placed a sell order with the target price of 65. This is a 2.3622% gain for this trade if it gets filled. And it actually filled 44 minutes later, which after fees, by the way, this is an error in the history. I got charged USDT and not BNB. So I ended up with 15,418.65 USDT. This particular trade made $344. As you can see, I only trade between 1% and 2%, but if you're very consistent with it, you will add up and gain more money every trade, which will increase your buying power and then obviously increases your future gains on future trades in a very short period of time. Okay, so I decided that I'm going to be trying day trading for a week, specifically day trading Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. I still have about $1,000 on my Robinhood account. I'm just going to do some research and jump in right away. All right, so day two, woke up early in the morning and I am ready to buy some Bitcoin. And you can see here, uh, Bitcoin just broke through $51,000 for the first time. I am going to go ahead and I'm gonna buy into Bitcoin here. Okay, so I'm gonna be buying 0.019 Bitcoin, which is gonna be $973 or so, somewhere around there. And uh, we're gonna see what happens with that. But I wanted to record this really fast because the price of Bitcoin has dropped uh, really far since I first bought it. 
it is down to fifty thousand nine hundred dollars right now so i've already lost like i think 30 40 bucks and it's, we're just a few minutes in but i'm going to continue monitoring it throughout the day all right guys good news so it went up to fifty two thousand seventy four dollars so i ended up selling my position for about nine hundred and eighty nine dollars and forty one cents and that is about a sixteen dollar profit and sixteen dollars isn't bad for only spending maybe five to fifteen minutes of time all right guys, so big things happened here. I bought $978 worth of Bitcoin at about 51,492. Now, right after I bought it, it actually went down and I didn't end up buying more in the same day. But anyways, the next day it went up to $54,825 and I ended up selling it at $1,041.68. That is a profit of about $63. And that's probably the easiest $63 I've ever made. All right, guys, so I got a little bit busy with work and stuff and I wasn't able to update the videos but basically what happened is I made some trades they were going really well and then all of a sudden one of my trades didn't do well so basically what happened is I decided to buy one Bitcoin cash I went away from Bitcoin because I saw it was a little bit unstable and I bought one Bitcoin cash and immediately it crashed so I bought the Bitcoin Cash for about $701.04, and then I saw that it crashed. So what I decided to do is go in again and buy another one half Bitcoin Cash for $345. And then it went up a little bit later, so I sold the 1.5 Bitcoin Cash for $1,084.99. So I made about $38, $39 off of that, but it was technically swing trading and not day trading. And then even though I was a little bit worried because of this challenge, I decided to buy back into Bitcoin at about 1,150 and I bought 0.02 Bitcoin. And then pretty much immediately Bitcoin began to crash. So when I bought it, it was about $57,536. And currently as of recording this video, it is $48,833. So I haven't actually sold it yet. So again, I kind of pivoted into a uh, swing trading, pulled a big brain move again. I'm hoping it goes back up. I'm hoping this is just a temporary crash, but who knows what happens. I mean, it could go down to zero and then I just end up losing all of my thousand dollars. Now, overall, my opinion on day trading has changed slightly since I did this challenge. First of all, I would just like to say that day trading is super, super fun. I had an absolutely amazing time doing this. But with that being said, when it comes to the evidence of how effective day trading is, you need to be realistic with this. And the nicest statistic I could find was about 10% of day traders are successful. Now, they didn't say exactly what success means for all I know that means they didn't lose money so common sense tells me that over the long run these strategies likely wouldn't work so if you get good at certain strategies you can make money but the only way you're going to be able to consistently keep that up over time is if you are better than the average day trader out there or really a lot better than the average day trader I'm going to show you how I made over a thousand dollars in one day trading Bitcoin not only am I going to show you the profits as you can see live account but I'm also going to show you how I traded it step by step uh, with divergence trading, All right? So as you can see, live account, let's go to the history tab. Today's the fifth, so yesterday was the fourth. Let's go here to December 4th, click OK. And as you can see, that right there, we have over $1,000, technically 1,300 bucks. Two of the trades were not Bitcoin, uh, but of course, I'd say 80, 90% of the trades came from Bitcoin trades. So let me go here to the Bitcoin chart and show you what happened and show you step by step why I got into these trades. So at the time, you see this big spike up. This did not happen. This is where price was currently located. OK, so right here, this wick, you see the, mid the middle. Of, don't look at my thumb. Look at the crosshair right here is a low and right here is a lower low. If you look straight down on the OBV where the crosshair is, that's a low. But right here is a higher low. So price action is creating a lower low while the OBV is creating a higher low. That's bear, that, sorry, that's bullish divergence, meaning it's gonna go up, okay? That's bullish divergence. So that's confirmation number one for the buys, uh, buy positions that we got into. Now, how do you know where to place your take profit? This is very simple. We're on the four hour time frame. So if you look to the left, you see this wick at the very top? You're gonna draw from one high wick to another high wick. So from wick to wick. At the time, you see this big spike? That did not happen. Price 
was fluctuating around here. So I got into a buy position right here. And because this is cryptocurrencies, at times it could lag a bit or you can go into some drawdown before the actual move happens. So I got into a buy right here. We went into drawdown and then it spiked straight up and it hit our take profit at this line. So again, the reason why I placed my take profit at that line is because third time's the charm. Okay, this happens in everything in life. Three times is key. So usually if you have one touch, two touch, it's going to touch the trend line for a third time if it's meant to go in that direction. And we know it was meant to go in that direction because of the bullish regular divergence. Now, why do we get into a sell position? It's because at the zone, we spotted bearish hidden divergence. If you don't know what hidden divergence means, hidden divergence means trend continuation. So in this case, it was a trend continuation to the downside. So we had bullish regular divergence, meaning a reversal to the upside. We hit the trend line, and because we spotted bearish hidden divergence, we placed a sell. And that's how I caught another 300 pips. So I technically caught 600 pips in one day trading Bitcoin, and that is exactly how I did it. So I hope that helped you guys out. Take that information, run with it. And again, this is how I personally trade divergence.